Why do people always ask for peer-reviewed studies? Well, there's a very important reason. Humans are prone to biases, lots of different biases. These might not even be conscious biases. These might be things like perceptual biases. I've been doing a series on optical illusions. Our senses can lie to us. So if you do an experiment once and you get a certain result, your interpretation of it might not necessarily be correct. Like, let me give you a very simple example. I have an hypothesis that all birds can fly. I do an experiment. I go outside, I look at every bird that I can in my area. And every bird in my area flies. So therefore, I say, here's my experiment. My hypothesis is that all birds can fly. My data shows that all birds can fly. Thus, all birds can fly. So my study goes to peer review. A fellow scientist in Australia does the same experiment. And he finds that ostriches are birds but can't fly. Another researcher on the Antarctic coast finds that penguins can't fly but are birds nonetheless. So my data was right, there was nothing wrong with my data, but my conclusion was wrong, and the only way that we found that out was through peer review, other people repeating the experiment. In the scientific method, one person's data is never enough. Data should be verifiable, i.e. repeatable, even if you change certain variables that shouldn't change the outcome, such as the location of where the birds are. That's why peer review is important, because you might have done a very good experiment and gotten very good data, but you won't see the holes in it until you get peer reviewed. And that's why you always have to be skeptical of scientists who are resistant to peer review, because good data holds up under peer review. If my hypothesis was something like, all birds have beaks, I would do the same experiment and find that all birds near me have beaks. And then the Australian scientist will also find that ostriches have beaks. And the Antarctic scientist will find that penguins have beaks. And then that data holds up, so then we say it is likely fact that birds have beaks. But of course, all of this doesn't matter because the birds all died in 1986 due to Reagan killing them and replacing them with spies that are watching us. The birds work for the bourgeoisie.